Happy Friday, Northeast Kansas. We've almost made it. Almost time for the weekend. I'm KSNT, Storm Track meteorologist Kyle Borkett, and this is your midday web weather update. I'm still tracking mostly cloudy skies across Northeast Kansas with some rain chances as well. But those rain chances will be moving to the west. That's right, that wacky wind direction uh, today blowing in from the east and northeast. So the rain actually clearing from the same direction, moving from northeast to southwest across the area as this low pressure center really spins, churns, and pivots literally right on top of northeast Kansas in that counterclockwise rotation. Now, future track temperatures this afternoon also painting and representing where the rain and clouds will be. I think some of our easternmost counties really east of US 75 from Topeka to Lawrence, Ottawa, Garnett, Burlington see high temperatures at or above 80 degrees elsewhere with more rain chances, more cloud cover west of that north-south highway of US 75. See daytime temperatures stuck in the 60s and 70s. Really uh, make your plans accordingly for the high school football games. If you're going to a football game west of US 75, grab the rain gear just in case. Good chances for rain still linger into the evening hours. But we clear things out and we dry things out just in time for the upcoming weekend. Storm Track Chief Meteorologist Matt Miller, he's live at 5 tonight. He'll have a splendid look at your upcoming weekend forecast complete with sunshine. I'll catch you guys Monday morning dark and early at 4.30, but you can catch us actually all weekend in Topeka at the Kansas Expo Center for Cider Days. We're all there from KSNT News. Come on by and stop and say hi. If not, have a great weekend. Enjoy the nice weather.